There are very few engineers on earth who have not faced the struggles of job hunting. The rejections, the interviews, the emails. The job search is hard and it doesn't matter who you are. Maybe you're a graduate who just got their degree and is super excited about their job prospects now that they have a degree under their belt. Only to realize that there's a million people with that exact same degree. Or maybe you didn't go to university, you studied hard, you did your independent learning, you got certifications and did projects, and now that you're done you have to compete with the graduates and the people who have so much experience already. And yeah, of course, there's people out there who haven't experienced the struggles of the job hunt, but if you're anything like me, you will relate to this video. What's up guys, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be sharing my experience searching for jobs as a cloud engineer. I've interviewed for quite a few cloud engineering roles and I've applied for many more. Honestly, it has not been easy. It's a journey that challenges you. It tests your perseverance and really, really tests your self-esteem. Yeah, the job search can really affect you when you don't get the results you want with all the work and applications that you're putting in. To tell you about my experience with job hunting, I have to take you all the way back to my university days. I attended university here in the UK, and in the UK, degrees are typically three years long unless you do a placement year, which is a year working in industry and working for a company, doing something related to your degree. So basically, a placement is a year-long internship. Our university really pushed us and encouraged us to do a placement. They spoke a lot about the benefits of doing a placement year or internship year. They said it will be great for your experience. It will be great for when you go into the industry. You'll be so much more experienced and have real life working experience, experience, experience. And we were so excited about this and we all really wanted a placement. We never thought about what would happen if we didn't get one. I was searching for any engineering roles, IT support, cloud engineer, software engineer. I didn't care what it was. I just wanted to get a placement. I did phone interviews, face-to-face -face video interviews where I just send them a video of myself speaking, assessment centers where I interview in a group of students and they choose the best ones. It was a difficult process and I didn't end up getting a placement. I applied for so many roles that year and I didn't get a single one. I had about five interviews at five different companies and I was rejected again and again and again. And you can imagine my self-esteem went straight to the ground. It really affected me mentally and I started to feel like I would never be able to get a placement even after I graduate. How would I ever be able to get a job? Self-esteem was low, confidence was low, and I didn't feel like I had a real future in tech. I moved on to the final year of my university degree. When I finished university, I knew that I wanted to go into cloud. I knew that I wanted to be a cloud engineer. I had already got my AZ900 certification and I knew that this is the path I want to go. I was only applying for cloud roles because I knew what I wanted and that is the only thing I wanted. I didn't want to work in IT support. I didn't want to go into software engineering because I wasn't a programmer like that and cloud was the area I wanted. I interviewed and got rejected from several different cloud roles, but it did seem a lot more promising than my placement year was. I got some great feedback from some of these companies and I continued to use that feedback as I went into the next interviews. And funny enough, my first ever cloud role is not one that I found myself, but one of my friends and close connections sent it over to me saying, this might be a role that kind of suits what you want to do. It was a junior as your administrator role, which I've spoken a lot about on this channel. And that was my first ever role in cloud. The job search is challenging, but you always know that you only need one company to take a chance on you for you to get that first role. And after all the struggles, rejections, regret to inform you emails, you're one yes away from having a clean state and starting that career. Job hunting is definitely character building. It helps you build perseverance and resilience. And for me, it definitely helped me build my faith in God as well. And when you're applying and not getting the results you want, it forces you to go away and learn and grow, producing new skills and more confidence for future interviews. For everyone who's looking for a role at the moment, I have four tips for you guys to help you on your job hunt. And the first tip is to improve your portfolio. And there are a few ways to do this. Number one, certifications another one projects, another one interview prep, 
And another one is CV review. Get someone to look over your CV because if no one else has ever seen it, you might be doing it wrong. Another tip for your job hunt is to get feedback from employers. A lot of the time employers will reject you and not give you feedback or they'll not get back to you at all. So if they reject you and not give you feedback, ask them for feedback and take that feedback into your next applications and interviews. And if they don't get back to you, email them asking them what's the progress and is there any news on the application and ask for feedback as well. Number three is don't give up, but take a break. Sometimes you're applying and applying and nothing new is happening. Nothing is changing. Sometimes you just need a break. You need a break to focus on your skills rather than applying to jobs. You need a break to focus on just renewing your mind and coming back stronger than you were the last time. And my fourth and final tip is tell people you're looking for a job. As you can see from my experience, it is a friend of mine who sent me a job that got me that first ever cloud job. So if you're looking for a job, tell people that you're looking for a job. There are people around you who are so willing to help you and you don't even know it. Tell your friends who can send you jobs that suit you. Tell other people in the tech industry who could even hook you up with a reference or even a job interview. When you open your mouth and tell people that you wanna work and you're available to work, you'll be so surprised at how many opportunities come your way. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please drop a comment and tell me about your job hunt. We really wanna know about your experience, job hunting, looking for jobs. If you're currently looking for a job, put that in the comment section. If you went through a long, annoying job hunt, put that in the comment section. If your job hunt was really smooth, put that in the comment section. And I really wanna hear your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Oh,